It's your girl, Jess Tanya, host of the show, Dope and Saved, coming up next. The Bible tells us that we have not because we ask not. So we ask today that our joy and your joy may be full. Support Worship Center Radio by going to www.worshipcenterradio.net. And on the right side, click the Donate Now area. Send your love offering that we may continue to broadcast throughout the world and to bring you programming that elevates you to the next level in God. We have put the Great Commission given to us by our Lord Jesus in action. We thank you in advance for your financial support. From Detroit to the nations, you are listening to the world's number one Christian station, Worship Center Radio, the platform of champions. Hey, it's your girl, Just Tanya, host of the realest new show, Dope and Save. Dope and Save is one of the realest shows out here. Sex, drugs, addictions, alcohol, homosexuality, nothing is off limits with me. Bringing souls to God one life at a time. You ready, God? Let's go get them. Good afternoon, everyone. This your girl, Just Tanya. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> um, it's actually a pretty good day outside. You know, it feels okay. It's about 70 degrees. I'm wearing a hot, hot sweatshirt. But other than that, you know, it feels pretty good. Wake up, Detroit. Let's see here. What did I do this weekend? Of course, I worked. Um, Friday. I went to see a movie called The Perfect Guy with my friend Charmel, as you all know, or maybe you don't know. That movie has Sanaa Lathan, Morris Chestnut, and the beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous creature, Michael Ely. But, you know, the movie kind of sucked, to be honest. I spent $10 on it for it to end up just like Obsessed, Enough. And every other movie where a woman gets beat up and then comes back with a vengeance. So, I'm going to ruin it for you guys because I really believe you all should save your money. Michael Ely killed Morris Chestnut. And Sanaa Lathan killed Michael Ely. <laughs> Sorry, they both died. So, um, let's see. What else did I do this weekend? I worked Saturday. It was a pretty good day at work. And then I went to church Sunday got to ride with my mom like the good old days um let's see church was actually kind of hype it was good i took a lot of notes and then we had afternoon service i i take notes at church yes because you got to go back and reference because you know sometimes it hits that point in your life and you'd be like i remember when pastor spoke on that what exactly did he say so i can go back and look at my notes but then we had afternoon service <sighs> Y'all know how I feel about afternoon service. But, shouts out to New Prosperity. Guys were killed it up in there. Um, so, let's see. What's wrong with my hair? It's nappy. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was saying something bad about my hair. But anyway, guys. Call in. 248-796-8241. Let me repeat that slower. 248 248- Seven nine six eight two four one. Call in, say what up, tell me what you want to talk about because we got some stuff coming up on this show. Of course, you know we're going to talk about Miss Kim Davis because I have to get Juan's opinion on that one. I have to. And then we're going to talk about um, Leandria Johnson and what she went through last week. Did you hear about that one? Whew. And then whatever else pops up, you know. So time for a little icebreaker question. Juan, did you attend church yesterday? Uh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why not? 
Uh, because I go to church every day in worship center. Radio. But did you walk into a church building? No, I did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, my icebreaker question for today is, if you could take one sermon that you've ever heard in your life and tell the whole world about it, what would it be? I have mine. And it's actually preached by my daddy, but go ahead. I heard um, a sermon where a guy talked about creation. Mm-hmm. And um, he was talking about evolution and creation. And that's the one I would go and uh, redo all over again and preach it to everybody in the world. Because he made it so funny and so plain that you couldn't mess it up. Because of the simple fact, if we came and we were evolving from monkeys, how come we're still not doing it? Okay, is all I'm saying. Yeah, so. You know what? I posted a question like that on Facebook. Like, if we supposedly evolved from monkeys, then where do the Chaldeans come from? The Asians? No, no, no. They were were saying all men, everyone. Okay, so how do we just break off into different races? Like, some of us are chimpanzees. Some of us were from the orangutan clan. Well, I know some people that look like (laughs) silverback. (laughs) Not the silverback. Please I know some people that though. look like silverback. <laughs> I don't know if they were actually um, um, <laughs> actually evolved from silverback, <laughs> but I know they exactly the uh, mm, direct mm, descendants mm. at least. He taking shots up in here, y'all. <laughs> Listen, downtown beautiful Detroit Worship Center Radio. Come holla at them. Follow them on Facebook at Worship Center Radio. Um, Worship Center Network, Worship Center Global Outreach, Worship Center Everything. They're taking over the world, literally. So, we're going to play a little bit of music for right now. If we want to get it together. <laughs> and then we'll can't come back ha- you to can't You can't have me on the radio and work. At the same time. <laughs> I definitely can. You got to learn how to multitask. Uh-huh. That's uh-huh. a part of growing up. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> So, as I was saying, Juan is going to play a song really fast. All he got to do is just click a song. He looking for something specific. Well, anyway, until then. Oh, he got it. Never mind. See y'all in a bit.
back to the smooth sounds of just Tanya. Listen, okay, so before we went to break, I told you we were going to talk about Miss Kim Davis. We're going to save that for later because right now I want to talk about Miss Leandria Johnson. And I just first you got to tell them who she is. Okay, Leandria Johnson is a worldwide known. Maybe she's at least known in the U.S. She's a gospel singer. She won Sunday's Best a couple years back, I believe. Yes, her voice is of God. Her voice is definitely anointed. I believe Jesus lives at the bottom of her vocal cords. Like I love well, Leandria he Johnson. He must have been not home. He wasn't. Yeah, Jesus he, he, had stepped out when this yet. happened. That, that, mm, mm, <laughs> he mm, he went to see about that. me when this happened, and you know she just she went mm, a little Jesus, crazy. Jesus was not in that. <laughs> okay, so oh, and let me mention Leandria Johnson is also a pastor. Pastor Leandria. Lord Jesus. So, <laughs> it gives war. <laughs> so with that being said, for those of you who don't know. I think it was last week sometime, Leandria Johnson posted a video on Periscope. Periscope is like a Skype for your phone. You can post and record videos. Well, you can record and post videos while live chatting with the person who's, you know, recording. So if I'm sitting here with my phone, I'm recording wine, blah, blah, blah. Y'all can message me basically and it'll pop up on everybody's news feed as they're watching a video as well. So anyway. Okay, before you say the rest of that, why do people do stuff like this, <laughs> knowing what? that it goes all over? It went viral so fast. So fast, okay? So fast. I downloaded Periscope just to see if she did anything else outrageous. <laughs> like, I'm I'm that nosy Christian. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be one of those uh, Christians sitting on the porch and peeking through the uh-huh, blinds. Uh-huh, peeking out the window like, over mm, my look, sunglasses. Look, mm-hmm. mm, look at him, look at him. Because Lord the knows. Devil. It's just yeah. a devil. <laughs> Every time Leandria posts or whatever, I get that notification saying Leandria is not recording live, I stop everything I'm doing to listen. Because I let me find out. So anyway, Miss Johnson recorded slash posted a video of herself last week in the privacy of her own home, surrounded by her family, her husband, kids, you know. And... According to reports, you know, she was a little zonked, you know. She she was a little tipsy, slightly drunk. Thank you. Because <laughs> she was and, a little tipsy. <laughs> and, you know, the Christian community just didn't take it well, you know what I mean? Of course we didn't because, you know. All of us are pure and That's what I was going to say. Holy you know, we're and perfect. righteous. Exactly. And righteous. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So in the video... She's seen with a, I believe it was a red cup. You, you know what that mean when somebody got a red cup. Turn up. <laughs> so she had a red cup and she was seen, you know, dancing to some Beyonce, some, I think his name is Fetty Wap. I don't listen to this new age music. Fetty rap. Fetty crap. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and she was turning up in the privacy. Let me reiterate this. In the privacy of her own home. Private, right? Until you whip out that phone. And start recording and put it out there for everybody to see. It's just shameful. Then it's no longer private, honey. It's a world video. Yes. Like, it's called World Wide Web for a reason. (laughs) I don't think people understand that. They don't. They just don't. And and the web is connected to everything. Everything. The source. Like, I Googled myself earlier, and it's... Rowdy pictures of me on Google, not rowdy, rowdy, like, but just pictures of me you, on Google from like when I was, was a freshman up? in high school. No, you was turned no, up? no, because I didn't get turned up. Contrary to popular belief, I was actually a good kid. I'm so glad. I just had a bad attitude. That's I'm it. so glad <laughs> that all my turned up days are, be way are long before, behind you. Was way before worldwide. Web. <laughs> <laughs> I never turned up anyway. Like, I mean. When I turned up, I turned up, but it was very rare because I like being of sober mind. I like man, making conscious decisions, you know, because when you're not of a sober mind, that's when bad stuff happens. Just ask Leandria Johnson. <laughs> okay. So anyway, in her video, she admitted to drinking the Pat and Ron. You know what that is? The Pat, the Ron. Pat and the Ron. Patron. <laughs> And she admitted to being tipsy. She never said she was drunk. Actually, she corrected one of her fans and was like, 
I was not drunk. I was tipsy. And what I do in my home is my Help business. me understand <laughs> something. If you're tipsy, you're drunk. You cannot go and tell the officer, I wasn't drunk driving. I was tipsy driving. Maybe it was because you know how some people take drunk to be in sloppy, drunk, just it doesn't blacking matter. out. If you're inebriated, you're inebriated. She's That's in, how I look at it. There it is. This child has lost her mind. <laughs> and she was doing all of this in front of the kids. The, oh, no. She sent the kids to the basement eventually. Oh, eventually. Eventually. So the thing was, she started off. In front of the kids. Definitely. Because they was all in the camera. Dancing with her, turned up. Yeah, but when she started cussing, they wasn't. Oh, that's when she sent them to the basement. She didn't send them to the basement until after the first few verses of cuss words. (laughs) First few verses. She did 16 bars of cuss words and then sent them to the basement. Come on now. (laughs) 16 bars. So, yes, y'all, y'all heard one right. Not only was she drinking, but Pastor Johnson was cussing. And I understand before y'all start condemning me. For saying she's only human, we make mistakes. I understand that, but at the same time, mm-hmm. when you decide to live for Christ, when you decide to do kingdom work, you have to live a certain way. When you decide to be a pastor, okay, your life is being microscoped. Okay, so unless Every you're turning up for thing, Jesus, uh, I don't understand. Then you shouldn't be turned well, up. I'm, I'm okay. Maybe it's me. But I don't see anything wrong with a glass of wine with dinner. But she was not having a glass of wine with dinner. She was having a glass of wine with a glass of wine. Okay, she was popping bottles. That's what she, Those are her words. I can pop bottles in my own house. She was having a glass of wine with a glass of wine. <laughs> with the Hennessy on the rocks. Good God, Miss And Johnson. the Pat and Ron. Yes, Pat and Ron. But, like, I just, my opinion on it is I'm not condemning her. <laughs> I can't because it's not my place. I can't condemn her. I was greatly disappointed though when I saw the video because I honestly love Leandria Johnson. Oh, we have a phone call. And we have a caller. Hello? Okay, first and foremost. Hey, Tanya. Hi. Hey. Okay. So, I just got off the phone with Pastor Johnson. Okay. Yeah. And I personally have never heard of this woman. But, um, you know, congratulations for her winning Sunday best, I guess. Um, but I feel like if she would have never put it on the world wide web, then it wouldn't be no controversy because I'm sure she's not the only pastor that gets turned up. Right. And so, you know, I, like, I mean, I understand why you're discussing the issue because as a pastor, you're leading you're responsible for the sheep you're responsible for you know guiding and pretty much being the example you know um as as christ will want you to be you know you are put in that position to lead and let us follow you and so if you're going to get turned up you know or turned out or whatever your case may be you know, maybe you should keep that on the hush hush. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not living for God, anything that's done in the dark is going to come to light no matter what. And so maybe this was God's way of telling her, you know, showing her sheep, like, hey, you know, while y'all sitting here in church, sewing, praising, worshiping, listening to this woman's words, this is how she living. She not living like a pastor. She not living like she just won not Sunday home, Spence she because not. she was giving God the glory. <laughs> she wasn't home. doing none of that. And so, you know, why I don't condemn her because she was doing it, I condemn, I would, if anything, I would pass judgment against her because, you know, you're supposed to be, if I was in her, if I was in her congregation, I would no longer be going to her church. And that's just honest to God truth because how dare you sit there and get up every Sunday morning, every Tuesday night for Bible study, every every Saturday for choir rehearsal. And, you know, preach the word to me and say, you know, you need to turn away from worldly goods. You need to turn away from worldly sins. You need to turn away. You need to turn away. But you're turning up with your husband or your boo or whoever he was in the video. And then, not only that, you know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. She not married? No, it was her husband. Oh. She is married. Oh, it was her husband? Yeah, she's married. Uh, I was about to say, (laughs) oh, it's about to go down. (laughs) No, she's definitely married. (laughs) I didn't know. Like I said, I don't know the woman, but I'm hearing y'all talking about it. And so it's just interesting how, you know, she got caught. You know, it's God's 
sense of humor is just amazing how he will literally show you things without you even blinking twice. You know, like, she's thinking, oh, okay, well, this is Periscope, and I'm pretty sure ain't none of my people following me. And so I'm going to get on here, and I'm going to show y'all how to pass the turn up on a night or whatever night it was. Um, and it went completely she, worldwide to where people just talking about herself? people, you know, ask, no, I think asking she pushed themselves, why the oh, heck okay. have I been going to her church and listening to her preach this word? And she's not even living what she's preaching. You know, that's kind of like somebody telling you don't smoke weed, but they sitting there constantly smoking it. Mm. So I, I mean, I don't, I don't personally know the chick, like I said. But you know, if I was, if I were in a position to pass judgment, it would only be based on the fact that now you got caught up. So now you either got to do one or two things. You're either going to continue to prove everybody else um, um, right at the fact that pastors really don't be living how they preach. Or you're going to literally turn away from it. You're going to be that person that God intended you to be. Mm. And you're going to live right. And you're going to apologize to, you know, you're going to ask God for forgiveness, ask yourself for forgiveness, and hopefully apologize to your congregation for, you know, making them look bad, you know, as I would think, because my pastor up there getting down on the pole or whatever the case may be, you know, I would think something about that. Good and, God. You know, Lord. and you know, that. So I really think that she should be asking for right now if she's serious so if she's serious uh, you know accepting the fact that she messed up as a as a pastor as a leader but at the same time i feel like she's an example and i think she's one of many who are um one of many pastors who are getting ready to be caught up and they mess uh -huh. and i think that god's getting ready to expose all of them and and in fact i'm, I'm actually i can't wait Oh Lord! You got your tea and your popcorn ready. ready for a lot of these pastors, <laughs> for a lot of for God to show up. A lot of these pastors who sitting there preaching to their people and telling you know God's people to do this and the third, but they up turning up at the strip club. They turning up with their homeboys. They smoking cigars. They go. They doing whatever they want to do. Reverend Bullock. Oh shots! Hey, hey, hey! I saw that episode too. Out, no, hey, I call him out. You Take know how shots. I am. You know how I am, Sheree. Yeah, why are you trying to call in? Fine. Like, why are you trying to call in? Like, don't nobody know who you are. <laughs> I, I wasn't calling in like I didn't. You know, like nobody would know. I'm yeah, just saying, yeah, I don't yeah. know the woman. I ain't want to call in and seem like you know I'm living holy too. But you know, my thing is that I'm, I'm still running from God. I'll be honest. I'm still running from him because I don't want to accept the fact that He's called me to be certain things. And You're I evangelist. Wanna, I feel like she. <sighs> I feel like it's incidents like this that cause people like myself to run because Ooh. you know what, they they out here they out here acting a fool you know Ooh. girlfriend signing up with her husband I understand you know you doing your turn up but what you have to put it on the internet for if you gonna turn up turn up with your man by yourself y'all in the privacy of your home keep it in the privacy of your home and what you do you'll be held accountable for but it, now you just pretty much put yourself on blast and a lot of these mm. pastors about to do that and so wow. it, it's hard. You know, I'm not blaming it on her, but it's hard to accept the fact that God would call me a pastor or God would call me a prophet or God would call me anything. When people out here acting a fool, and so nobody's going to take us serious. Nobody takes the prophet serious no more. Nobody takes the pastor serious no more because they out here doing foolishness like this. Sheree, you so, was tying up my line. People is texting me like, I'm trying to call in. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's smashing. Sheree was smashing. Maybe Sheree should have came Good in Lord. today. Now, those are some shots. <laughs> now, that was a shot, for real. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I did I actually agree with pretty much for the most part I agree with everything Sheree is saying. Mm -hmm. She just, you know. Oh my goodness. She started talking before I could, you know. Oh my goodness. Well let but, me let me say this. Mm hmm I need y'all to come to the church of Patron <laughs> and Johnson. Hey. <laughs> where we get turked up. Every Sunday afternoon. <laughs> and we do it big every week. We pop bottles and take communion and <laughs> dance all in the front. <laughs> this is how we do it in I the cannot, church. I cannot with him. A Patron and Johnson. Patron. Pat Ron Johnson. Pat Ron Johnson. I'm your pastor, Pat Ron Johnson. <laughs> I'm your pastor, Pastor Pat Ron <laughs> I can't with one. He was so geek. Like I sat here and watched him look up that keyboard all while Sheree was talking. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was oh, just too goodness. funny. 
Oh, Listen, Lord. we have fun here. But yeah, basically everything <laughs> Sharice said is my opinion. Um, and I understand what she means when she says people like that who are, you know, notable public figures of God in the world getting little people like, not little people, but, you know, not as important, quote unquote, important because, you know, we are all important. But figures like Cherie, who wants to get in the word, who wants to walk into her purpose, who wants to walk into her destiny, and she sees something like that, and it turns her away. Do you know that in the Bible, the Lord said he would hold them that turneth away mm-hmm. the la- the sheep mm-hmm. to, I- a, to a, a higher degree? Because he called you for that. He purpose. called you for a specific purpose. And you turned. My it- daddy calling. You better uh, answer uh, that uh, one. Uh, uh, here you go. Hold on. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, I'm good, Dad. How are you? Can I play the organ? Right. P- play the I'm organ. Good. It, it, Pastor, I want y'all to get. I want you to give us a word today. <laughs> you want you what? <laughs> I want you to give us a word. <laughs> There's your organ. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I've like, yeah, been waiting on me to call in. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It, you know, a lot of times, many times, we look at, we make people bigger than what they are. Yes, we do. And then when they fall, then we talk about them so bad. And, and so instead of what we have to do, we got the people... Am I talking good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I, oh wait, wait. I'm, I'm sorry. And so, okay, we, we look at the we look at Tasha. Yes, they are held in higher esteem, and they gonna be they got to pay for what they do too. Okay. So oh, hold on, Dad. Juan over here messing up the controls. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Dad. Do we that forget time. that some of the same people that sitting in the pews are doing the same thing, but then we don't mm. go on them. Mm. We only go on the man that's up front. Mm-hmm. And so we got to learn how to balance these things out, okay? We charge, we could be just as charged in the pews that's doing it as the man up front, even though he's held to a higher degree. Yes, mm-hmm. that's okay? right. But I have, but th- we, I have a question for you, though. Yes, she's held yeah. to a higher degree, but according to her, because I don't know what God called her to do, but according to her, she was called to minister. So do you believe that whether she's in the privacy of her own home or in public, she should still act a certain way, act according to what God called her to be? Or do you think she has that right to turn up in the privacy of her own home, even though she's a well, a woman of God? Well, I put it like this. A lot of the things that we do at home is enough to send us to hell. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> you're right. <Lord> Jesus. <laughs> Pastor, you're going to have people looking at themselves. <laughs> a, a, a lot of things that we dream about is enough to send us to hell. Oh, Lord. Lord Jesus. Mm. And so, uh, we, uh, every, everybody's going to get, uh, how would I say, everybody's going to be held accountable for what what they do. Uh, pastors pastors are, are higher figures, and we are, if the Bible even tells us to stay away mm-hmm. from look-like situations. Right, but but not only do that for pastors, that's for members too. Mm-hmm. And, and so uh, we we say it like this: you have just as many church members in the bar drinking, and, but then we only come down on the pastor. Most right. of the, most of them was in the bar Saturday and came in church on Sunday, and then right went right back to the bar Sunday uh, after church. Uh, okay, all right, in so the same clothes, saying, but, in the same clothes. That's horrible. Okay, so but it only come that you only come down on the pastor. <laughs> mm-hmm. You won't come down on the mother, or you won't come down on the brother. Oh, oh. Uh, then that case said, "Well, you the one supposed to be leading us, okay? But I can't lead you if you drunk." <laughs> <laughs> Bishop, I I get them all. Bishop, I get them all. I let them all know. Look, <laughs> but. So you can't just you can't just pick out who you want to pick out. Mm-hmm. Okay, all, all of us came from something. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all of us got a problem with something. Okay, now if if because of what the pastor did keep you from going to heaven, that's your fault. Then because yeah. because you have to work out your own salvation. Ain't that what the Bible says? Yeah, your own salvation. So you supposed to continue to read. Now, don't run away from church because you saw a pastor do something. 
Right. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Maybe maybe the pastor needs to run away from church because it's all the members doing something. Because <laughs> it's because I know a bunch of members that ain't right. It's some members you just be like, yeah. how how do you come to church and not burn up? Right. Spontaneously combust when you walk through the doors. Or when they throw oil on them, they just start spinning around, <laughs> right. spe- spinning their neck around, and spewing. Uh, right. How do you not <laughs> get an exorcism when you come through the doors? <laughs> So, so every, everybody has a responsibility, and, and God is the judge. And so, but when we can all come and sit in church like we like we ain't never did nothing, right? Uh, who you fooling? Who you fooling? Nobody. You can't okay. pull the wool over guys' eyes. Mm-mm. Okay. So, then, so then the Bible says, if a man thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he's deceiving himself. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Many times. Many times. Everyone in there already know what they done done on that Saturday night or that Wednesday night or that, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday. I'll be they at work. Me too. So, 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 so every man got to get accountable for what they've done, not for what somebody else done. Pastor, I'm going to let you know, I'll be at work on Saturday at Worship Center Radio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be doing nothing. I go, I go, I go to work, and I get church, and then I go home to his wife, to my wife, Pastor. I'm serious, Pastor. I'm sorry. I'm serious. I don't do nothing. I, I, I'm confessing that. that. When we come down, that. yes, it looks bad when we see somebody like that uh, who who we look up to uh, 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 gets themselves into that position. It looks bad. But how it's, do you how do you bad. feel when you when the whole when I, the outside world tends to judge the pastors of the church how, when they yes. look into the church. How do you feel when the outside world does it? Okay, when they do it, the, well, the outside world is always looking for an excuse not to, to, they look for an excuse to tear the church down anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so and so again, they, we are we are already judged <laughs> about what we do, but the outside world is still looking for a way to say that. God ain't all who he said because God allowed this to go on. God allowed this to go on. So why does God allow this? Why does God allow that? If God knows everything, why? So they're looking for an excuse not to attend church. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so but I, when, I, 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 when I went to work, I saw a lot of things at work I didn't like. Okay. Okay. But I kept going back. But bet you still <laughs> went to church. I mean, bet you still went to work, though. I still went to work. Got in tune with the boss. I didn't like the boss shit. I still went back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay? Right. So, so, but we try to find problems with certain things to say that we don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And so, so this is what, what, this is what the real, real issue is. Stop, stop trying to compare yourself with other people. Look inwardly. Mm-hmm. Look inwardly at yourself. Worry when you go look at yourself, you're going to find some problems. Ooh, is there some skeletons in that closet? I, um, <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about me. <laughs> I, 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 I got a whole... T- lock on the closet, though. I got a whole two or three bodies in the closet with me. <laughs> All right. I ain't so, got no so, skeletons. So, I tell everybody so, everything. Can't, Therefore, can't nobody say, that, I found out this about time. Uh-uh, that, I already a, told them. That's a skeleton right there. You, what? You, you just told a story. Did I tell everybody? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Listen, if y'all ask me, I'll tell you the truth. Because when I become big and popping, I don't want no stories coming out about me that y'all can't well, be I like, Tanya. Ar- Listen. You don't mind telling them in church, so somebody already know. Tell, tell us one, Pastor. Go ahead, tell us one. <laughs> Juan said, tell us one, one story about me. Oh, well, no, nah, not on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we, I also want to know what's your take, because this is the next topic, and since you're already on the phone, what's your take on the whole Kim Davis thing? On the whole what? Kim Davis, the, the Kentucky clerk. Well, okay, it's just like they said. Now, if Kim Davis was a Muslim, as I said, they wouldn't be attacking her. That's right. Say it again, Pastor, because I've been saying this. Say it again. If she was, if she was of another uh, or, or religion, or, or they wouldn't be attacking her. They're but only because doing she that. stands up for the Christian, they, they're attacking her. Your daddy is brilliant. <laughs> So, so we have to let her look at this thing. It's, 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 it's just, it's, a, it's to bring down, to, to make God a lie. That's all it is, to make God a lie. 
that God don't, that God, he ain't up with the times. Well, I know the Bible is up with the times because they let me know these times are coming. Okay? Yo, so that, it's going to be really? attack, it's an attack on all Christians. They call Christians their lifestyle because Christianity is not a religion. It's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's an everyday thing. Mm -hmm. And so they, they attack her because they want to bring her down, make her look bad. That's mm -hmm. all it is. She's not following the law. She's not doing this. She's not doing this. But when it comes down to God and the law, you, I'll do this to obey God and not to worry about the law. So let me ask you this. If you were in her yeah. position, if you were that clerk, what would you have done? Well, you know, sometimes your stand will put you in positions that you never thought you, you would be in and when you take a stand. And so she had, she had a stand. She did a right to make a stand because her name was going to be on everything. Right. All them licenses, her name was going to be on it. Right. And that was against her religion. Now, of course, they could have the, as I said, there was other places they could have got the license. Thirty minutes away. Yeah, they could have uh -huh. got the license, but they choose to attack her. And then once they attack her, then they go back into her history. How many times she been married? How many times this? So they were intent on bringing her down. Mm -hmm. no, immediately, no what. immediately after she refused them, they had all her business on the news. They was ready. Yes, they was waiting. They. they, walked, they they plotted this like this was right. literally a plot. They planned this out. Yes, I'm. Yes. I'm convinced they planned this and see, out. And see, this is the thing with with the enemy that we must know. He plans and he plots mm -hmm. to get us. Yes, uh -huh. we we think that oh we're gonna see everything coming mm -hmm. because we're not in. Oh, let me stop because we're not in the spirit yeah. enough that we know that these things take form in the spirit realm before they take form in the natural so okay she already kn she she knew her, where her stance was going to have to be because nine times out of ten they already came in there before then and she refused them then and when they came back they came back with press and everything about her uh -huh. yes and she knew yeah. she was going to have to take a stand yeah she had to take so if she had not taken a stand and let it go. Then they're going to still come down on it. And then they would have still said uh, something about her being a Christian and issuing yeah. licensing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what the either way it goes. They was out at her. Okay. And so, so like I said, the enemy is ready for you. Yeah, they're yeah, they're ready. He so, got a game okay. plan. And so, so I, I was looking at it like this. When Jesus went into the garden to pray. All mm -hmm. right. He prayed. Okay, and after he got up off his knees, then here come the soldiers mm -hmm. out to get him. So, but what they didn't understand, he was already prayed and prepared for what they was going to come at him with. Right. He was already ready for him. Because he was because prayed the up. Prayer, the, the prayer beforehand made him ready and able to withstand what they was going to do. There it is. Pastor, we need to, <laughs> you need to tell people where your church at. Uh, what time you tell them? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna hold you up. <laughs> All right, Daddy. Thanks for calling in. Uh, uh, all right, thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Call that other number back. Let's see call who that, that number, is. Call that other number back. I'm just. We just gonna call people. We just gonna call hot, random people. What, what on do the you air. think? Hot on the air. Oh, that. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That sounds like an interesting thing. I like that. Yeah. We're gonna do that next week. Okay. So be ready because we calling random people oh, next okay. week. Don't right. try to ignore. Right now, they listening. Hello. Right. Hello. I'm trying to get to you with your daddy doing all the talking. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let the church say amen. Amen. Amen, Reverend Helen. <laughs> so, so, I'm talking about them sisters you talked about yesterday. I'm trying to find one. <laughs> 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 love you, baby. I'm going to love you, too. You know that. Love you, too. <laughs> So listen, wait, wait, Reverend Helen. Did he hang up? Yeah. Dang, I was gonna ask him. He's a clown. He, he gonna, said he gonna try to find one on wood when he get him saved. Yeah, he need Jesus. <laughs> he gonna be the first one we call next week. I promise you. Oh Jesus, that was funny. So listen, I want to know what y'all would do if y'all were Kim Davis. If if not, if y'all were Kim Davis, if y'all were in her position, 
And you know the word, you read the word, you know you have to live by the word, you know you have to share the word of God. Mm, mm, mm. Call in 248-796-8241. You can message me on Facebook. Latanya Tanksley is the name. Follow me on Instagram, J-U-S-T-O-N-Y-A underscore. Hit up Worship Center Radio. Shoot, you can even find Juan Johnson and oh. tell him. Oh, you tell me and you go on my Facebook page. <laughs> We're going to have a discussion. It's going to be an all-out war uh, on his no. page. Yeah, yes, it cause is. Because uh, I got all kinds on my page. So if you're not ready for it, don't come. Don't come at all. Don't come. I'm Because the gays will come on my page and go completely go nuts. In, okay. <laughs> they will go completely nuts. <laughs> and so will the, the I'm for being black and... And all the black religion st- people, mm-hmm. they'll go in. Well, the, I don't know why y'all arguing about this white Jesus, because Jesus wasn't even Jesus don't even exist. Y'all talking about a book of fairy? They will go in on my page. So if you're not <laughs> ready and you're not prayed up and you don't have that scripture in you, please don't come to my pay, play, page hey. playing, because they will eat you up for real. Because listen, I know. I made one post and some guy I don't even remember who he was. Thomas. Him. I remember, yeah. Oh my goodness! And he was just like, I didn't say that. I, let me get in the shower and go. <laughs> so the other side of Tanya come out and I have to find his address and pop up on Homeboy. <laughs> See, because some of y'all know me and y'all know I'm good for doing a pop up on anybody. They don't play. I, I see the thing about my page is I like it because of the simple fact that in all of that, mm-hmm. somebody's gonna get the word right. Somebody's gonna get the word, even if it's just somebody lurking. Right. Somebody's gonna get the word right, mm-hmm. and it's gonna be the right word. It's not gonna be the word that's you know um, of what somebody said or how somebody interpret. It's gonna be scripture. It's gonna be backed. And if I don't know it, there's so many pastors on my page that I refer to that I have them come on my page and back me up on what I'm trying to say mm-hmm. that. They kind of l- leave me alone. <laughs> until, they tremble in fear. Right. They, they try to make little posts and, and say little things to me. Like this one guy. Oh, my God. Speak on it, preacher. This guy comes on my page talking about that um, the, the Bible is only 2,000 years old. Huh? I said, bruh, are you serious? The Bible predates history. The Bible is a start of so what history. So was what was his he reasoning? Was, because well, even saying, if that was a true, was even if that, that was kind of true, if you were going based on his logic, technically the Bible going, would be 2015 years old. Log- even if I was going based on his logic, the Bible starts with Moses mm-hmm. writing Genesis, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And he's telling the beginning of history to where he is in that day. And then he finished it, mm-hmm. right, to the book of Joshua. Because after Exodus and all of that stuff, that was Moses was done right. writing, right? Mm-hmm. So if you go back, and this is what I tell people, go back and match the Bible to the history in your books. All the books that you have read, even the African books, mm-hmm. even the African history, match it up. It's in the Bible somewhere where one of your kings were mentioned. One of the events that you hold prevalent to being the start of your religion is in there. Right. So. I guess that's your homework for the day. Uh, hey. For the week. Until hey. we come back next week. Just, just don't come on my page. Oh, no, Man. go ahead, but just have your, your stuff together. Have all your facts, not your opinions. Mm-hmm. Uh, please don't have no opinions <laughs> because everybody will come on the page and be like, well, wait, wait a minute, that's not how. That's not what the Bible said. The Bible said they will bank you to the wall right, and pin you there and leave you there to dry. Right. On that note. You want, what you want? A song. You know I'll be ready to jam. Uh, you want another we song? Gotta, listen, my people need some encouragement on today. What they need encouragement? They just need to pray. You know, there's somebody going through some financial issues, you know. Mm-hmm. Dealing with death, you want, depression. You want a song about money? Okay, you got one? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Is it going to get me some money? <laughs> but um, I actually agree with everything that's being said. That's very rare that I, I tend to agree with people. Now, now listen to this. In the matters of Kim David. 
Kim Davis. Davis. Uh-huh. I would have done exactly what she did, but after I got back, I would have resigned. Right. I would have resigned. Let them do what they're going to do. But see, my thing is, upon her, she was voted into the position, yes. but yes. She, she had was. to run for that candidacy, right? Yeah, somebody, so with that being said, did she not know that she would have to encounter some some things that that may not sit right with her Christianity, but you yes. still have to do what's pleasing to the government? Separation of church and state. Okay, but what what's more important? God. Okay, it's so always more important. That's if God why you, is more important than that ends the. That but my ends question that is, why take a job that you know might make you have to because choose? Because that job wasn't in jeopardy before then, until that court ruling. You have not seen the gays going after courthouses, Christians, pastors, churches, even Christian establishment like bakeries and um, b- Christian businesses until that court ruled. But see, my thing is, when I was young, younger, because you know I am young, but when I was younger and um, we were talking about running for office, you know how we be, oh, we're going to be president of the United States, blah, 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 blah. That was always a thought in my mind. Like, I could never do that because if it was left up to me, we all doing what the Bible say. Right. At me as a president. We're going by the word. I don't need y'all to vote on nothing. I don't need no Supreme Court. But reality is, that's the government. Like, you, you, you have to. I just feel like people don't take Christianity serious. They can't. Look at what Leandra Johnson. Leandria Johnson, there perfect example there of why is. people don't take Christians seriously. Here we go. Because you out here acting a plum fool. Like you, how you, how can you say I love God and in that same breath cuss at me and tell me you can do whatever you want in your D house because it's your effing house? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hear God nowhere in that. Jesus wasn't at the bottom of them vocal cords. Not that day. (laughs) Here we go. I got you you a song. Play my song, DJ. Might as well put your hands
Hey guys, we're back. Listen, this has been some interesting conversation. Um, and I just want everybody to know that we as Christians are not judging Leandria Johnson. We just telling y'all what we see. Somebody who calls himself a pastor, acting like everything but a pastor. This is Pastor Pat Rob <laughs> Johnson. Here he go. Just wanting to let you know service starts on Sunday after Saturday. B-Y-O-B. B-Y-O-B. <laughs> Bring your own Bible, for goodness sake. <laughs> Shoot. Um, my dad texted me. He wanted me to let y'all know. And I do. I definitely agree with this statement because I've been saying this for a while. Because like, we talk about this at work. Me and my friends talk about this. We'll go out to dinner and talk about this. He said, just because it's a law doesn't mean it's right. What is he talking about? I think he's still on Kim Davis. It's not a law. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just saying. No, I'm saying what were you like talking the about? The homosexual uh, getting couple, married, getting married. That's not a law. What do you mean? Ah, oh, let me school you. Oh, because it's not. You, it, you don't have to do it. No, no, no. What? It's not a law. See, what happened was, and they're trying to force Christians to follow a ruling. Mm-hmm. The Supreme Court can make a judgment and a ruling on a law to say it's unconstitutional or constitutional. If the law has not been changed by Congress, it's not law. Oh, maybe he's just talking about in general. I don't know. Yeah, in, in general. Yeah, in general. But as, as right now, as them running around trying to force Christians and trying to force other people, and I guarantee you they ain't running up in no mosques. Mm-hmm. They ain't running up in no oh, Catholic church are automatically married. But they ain't running up in no um, Islamic no um, centers telling them, you know, we want to hold our gay wedding here. They're not having it. If you were a pastor, I do want to know this. If you were a pastor. If I was a pastor. Yes. And you had a whole congregation. I'd be in jail. You know what I'm about to ask. Right. <laughs> Would you allow a gay couple to get married? Would you, first of all, would you marry a gay couple? No. Would you allow another no. pastor to marry them? No, in your not church? in my church. Not in my church. No. Just wondering. Just curious. No. Are you serious? I, <laughs> it. They're still in my church. Mm-hmm. They're still the church that I'm supposed to be responsible for. That the Lord put me in charge of. That I'm supposed to make sure that these type of things don't happen. What if this gay couple? Mm. Is prominent in your church. And, and they, prominent they, in doing what? Like, I don't know. They they prominent in coming, but they ain't prominent in changing. I'm saying, what if they're on every board? What if they're usher? They singers? wouldn't be what on no they, board. They wouldn't be on no you board. You wouldn't let them. No. You wouldn't even no. let them usher? No. You wouldn't let them sing in the choir? No. They can't sing in the choir. They can't usher. They can't <laughs> oh do my nothing. God. They could come and sit. They could come <laughs> and sit in church and get Jesus. And get some Jesus. I knew you was going to say that. Get some Jesus. Well. That got real, real, real fast. Because I wasn't <laughs> expecting you to say that. <laughs> but, but again, this is not a law. It's a ruling. So now they're going around saying, okay, the Supreme Court said it was okay for y'all to marry us. But it's not a law yet. Mm -hmm. So nobody, no state has to follow they it. They don't have to do it. Exactly. They don't have to do it. So, and, so this forcing of people to do, to do it is just as bad as... Them saying we force them, we force Jesus on them. Right. So now they become us. Now that's my my that's my one one of my major problems with the LGBT community. They want us. They force us to accept them, but they don't accept our beliefs that it's not right. They feel like we have to because they accept want, everything they say because they want to stay in their sin and they want us to endorse it because everybody else does and because right. we don't. They get mad at us. And the, I don't care if you get mad at me or not. I am not the one. You cannot come to me and keep asking me and keep asking me and keep asking me like it's going to change my mind. It's not going to change my mind. <laughs> the Bible says it's wrong. Right. And that's where we stand on. Okay. That's where I got to leave it at. Listen, with that being said, if y'all want to see more of Pastor Miller, come visit us. God's Word Baptist Church, 22085. And this Sunday... This upcoming Sunday will be a perfect day because it is our family and friends day. Turn up. And on top of that, afterwards, we're having a church picnic, inviting the whole community out. We're going to have bounce house, uh, water guns, uh, cotton candy machine, ice cream, 
I don't know if we have an ice cream machine. But it's just about to be fun. We have a lot of kids who, who are geeked about this. So come out. We're opening up to anybody and everybody who wants to come. And of course, we'll have food. 22085 Kessler. K-E-S-S. L-E-R in Detroit, Michigan. Bring your friends, your family, significant other, best friend, whoever you want to. I'm excited about it. Listen, that was a fun conversation that I had with you all today. Thank you all for tuning in. See you next week. Peace. Peace.